in Cyber Patriot practice today, the concept of the host file in Windows was brought up. So I want to make sure that we cover that in Linux as well. So the host file provides name resolution. And by name resolution, we're talking about translating a name such as www.fsu.edu to an IP address. So we'll use the ping command to send some packets to that website, the www.fsu.edu, but as part of that process, it has to translate from the domain name to an IP address. So as we do that, we see that the system is getting the IP address for the name and it's coming back as 146.201.111.62. Well, in real life and in a competition, you can essentially spoof it by editing the host file and essentially causing anyone that's trying to go to that website to go somewhere else that you want. So, like most all config files in Linux, we're going to go into the Etsy directory and we're going to edit the host file. So here's the host file and the format is the IP address followed by the the name and then an alias. You'll typically see it IP address fully qualified domain name the FQDN and then an alias and the alias is optional. So let's add a new line. So let's redirect any request to www.fsu.edu back to our own server. So we're going to put in 127.0.0.1 and put in www.fsu.edu. Then we'll also create an, ali an alias of just FSU. Now we're going to go ahead and save this file. And now, if we ping www.fsu.edu, you see we're getting that 127.0.0.1 IP address back as opposed to the 146. Well, how does that affect somebody going to the web page? So we'll open up our browser. We'll do the same thing. So this is not the www.fsu.edu web page. So web page running on our local server. So that shows you how you, we can redirect that. Now it's obviously not the actual web page, but imagine if you did that to a banking site and you made it look just like the banking site and you collected a, you had a login screen where you could collect username, password. So let's look at another thing that's involved with this and that is the NS switch file. So I want to go ahead and open that up and what this file does is it tells the system what order it should use in name resolution. So if we go to this host line and we look here it tells the system use the f use files. And that essentially means the Etsy host file. Then use this MDNS for minimal which is for local addresses and service discovery which we won't discuss. And then finally DNS. So the first time we ran it files MDNS for that couldn't resolve the www.fsu.edu so it went straight to DNS. So let's go ahead and let's put DNS first and see what happens. And I'll go ahead and save it. And now if I ping www.fsu.edu it goes back to the correct site. And So now if I open up my browser and go to www.fsu.edu and enter. It pulled up the old site. That's because it's pulling up a cache version. If we force a refresh, it's 
going to go to the actual website. Okay. So we looked at two things here. We looked at the Etsy host file. And this is where we made the change. And this is more most likely where if they're going to do anything in a competition that they're, they'll they'll do that here. This is what's going to get messed with. So you want to look here and look for something that doesn't look legit. And by the way, this down here is for IPv6. This up here is for IPv4. So again, this is most likely where you want to look. I don't imagine them doing anything here, but so you understand the process. This is where you could change the order in which in, in what is used to resolve host names. And by default, it starts off with files and then ends with DNS. However, we put DNS at the front and change the order. Alright, that's it. Have a good day.